the richest women in America. The vast majority of billionaires are men, which is unsurprising given the history of discriminatory workplace practices, barriers to women's wealth, such as the prohibition on women having credit and debit cards until the 1970s, and an income disparity that sees women earning 82 cents for every dollar earned by men. Madam C.J. Walker, a hair care and cosmetic supplier for African-American women, is largely regarded as the country's first female self-made billionaire. According to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, self-made women make up fewer than 5% of the world's 500 wealthiest persons. However, some women have worked really hard to become billionaires and millionaires. These women's fortunes have come to them in a variety of ways. Some are heiresses, such as the Waltons or the Pritzkers, who inherited riches from their family's enterprises. Ty Lee and Meg Whitman, for example, are self-made, like Marion Illich of Little Caesars Pizza and Mackenzie Scott of Amazon. Others started businesses with their spouses. Whatever path these women took to get wealthy, their economic influence is apparent. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel, Luxury Grit. In today's video, we'll be talking about the richest women in America, and we know that you can't wait any longer, so let's get started. But before we begin, kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our latest video updates. So let's get right into it. Number 10. Victoria Mars Victoria Mars has an estimated net worth of $8 billion. She was born in 1985. Victoria Mars and her three siblings are the heirs to Mars Incorporated, the family's massive candy and pet food corporation. When her father, Forrest Mars Jr., died in 2016, she and her sisters received an estimated 8% share in the corporation. Frank Mars, her great-grandfather, started the candy firm in 1911. M&M's, Milky Way, and Skittles are just a few of the sweet brands produced by the $40 billion firm. The firm also produces Ben's Original Rice and Pet Food brands such as Pedigree and Whiskas and Sweets. After quitting as chairperson of Mars, Inc. in 2017, she formally left the company. Victoria's four children will receive her 8% stake in the business. Number 9. Blair Perry, Oakenden Blair Perry Oakenden has a $9 billion net worth. Barbara Cox Anthony, James M. Cox's youngest daughter and aunt to Margareta Taylor, and Catherine Rayner had two children of their own, James and Blair Perry O'Kedden. When her mother died in 2007, Perry O'Kedden acquired a 25% share in her grandfather's firm, Cox Enterprises. In Atlanta, Cox Enterprises is a $19.2 billion sales, automotive, and media conglomerate that owns Cox Communications, a cable television business. She has never worked for the corporation, preferring to spend her time in Australia producing children's novels. Number 8. Ann Walton Kroenke Ann Walton Kroenke is a billionaire with a net worth of $9.4 billion. Ann Walton Kroenke, a trained nurse, is not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of her family's business, Walmart. While she inherited billions of dollars in stock when her father, Bud Walton, died, she and her husband opted to spend their combined billions on sports franchises such as the Los Angeles Rams, Denver Nuggets, Colorado Avalanche, Colorado Rapids, and Arsenal Football Club. Number 7. Diane Hendricks Diane Hendricks' net worth is $11.9 billion. Diane Hendricks spent her childhood days on a dairy farm. She and her husband, Ken, married and started ABC Supply, the country's biggest wholesale distributor of roofing, siding, and windows. Since Ken died in 2007, Hendricks has run the firm on her own, donating millions of dollars to charities in her and Ken's home state of Wisconsin each year. She was the driving force behind ABC's two largest acquisitions, competitor Bradco in 2010 and construction supplies wholesaler L&W Supply in 2016. The firm has approximately 800 outlets and generated over $12 billion in revenue in 2020. Number 6. Laureen Powell Jobs Laureen Powell Jobs is worth $16.9 billion. Laureen Powell Jobs met her late husband, Apple creator Steve Jobs, at a Stanford University guest lecture while she was an MBA student there. Powell Jobs received billions of dollars in Apple and Disney shares when he died in 2011. She purchased a minority position in the parent company of the NBA's Washington Wizards and NHL's Washington Capitals in 2017. She also bought holdings in several media sites, including a majority of the Atlantic magazine and cut relations with Pop-Up Magazine in mid-2020. Number 5. Abigail Johnson 
Abigail Johnson is worth $26.8 billion. Since 2014, Abigail Johnson has been the CEO of Fidelity. Johnson obtained a full-time analyst position at Fidelity in 1988 after spending summers working there throughout her undergraduate years. Johnson was named chairman and CEO of the corporation in 2016, and she now has 24.5% share in the company. The Johnson family has made several gifts to local charities, including Harvard, Historic New England, and the Institute of Contemporary Art. Fidelity developed a platform in 2018 that lets institutional traders invest in Bitcoin and Ether because Johnson has embraced cryptocurrencies. Number 4. Jacqueline Mars Jacqueline Mars is worth $31.9 billion. The four Mars sisters' great aunt is Jacqueline Mars. She owns around a third of her grandfather's confectionery firm, and she worked there for nearly 20 years, serving on the board of directors until 2016. Mars now serves on the boards of six organizations, including the Smithsonian Institution and the National Archives. Number 3. Julia Koch Julia Koch's net worth is $52.9 billion. When Julia Koch's husband David died in 2019, she acquired a 42% share in Koch Industries. In 1991, they met on a blind date and married in 1996. The former designer assistant and her late husband have given a total of $1.2 billion to charities, including $10 million to Mount Sinai Medical Center and Stanford Children's Medical Center. Number 2. Mackenzie Scott Mackenzie Scott has a net worth of $58.5 billion. Mackenzie Scott, the ex-wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, announced the couple's breakup on Twitter in 2019. She signed the Giving Pledge in the same year, committing to devote the great majority of her money to charitable organizations. After their divorce was finalized in 2019, Scott was granted 25% of Bezos' stake in Amazon, or 4% of the firm. Number 1. Alice Walton Alice Walton is on the top of the list, having a net worth of $68.6 billion. Alice Walton, the only daughter of Walmart owner Sam Walton, received a large chunk of the corporation after her father died in 1992. Walton, a member of the world's wealthiest non-royal family, has spent much of her time curating art rather than working for the family company. In 2011, she founded the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Arkansas, which features the works of different artists, such as Warhol, Rockwell, and Rothko. She announced intentions to construct a holistic health institution in Bentonville in January 2020, aiming for America's broken healthcare system. That's all for today's video. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments section below. I hope that you found the video interesting. If you did find it informative, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing luxury facts and stories. And until then, stay tuned to Luxury Grit.